Kim Holland is on special assignment once again, and it's a story you don't want to miss tonight on News 13 at 10 o'clock. And, and Kim, uh, thanks for being with us. This is a cold case with a, all sorts of twists and turns. It is an unbelievable story. We've done cold cases before. This is not your typical cold case. This one, when I heard the details of it, I mean, it just blew me away. Um, it was back in 1975. A uh, man and a woman, a young woman, came into a convenience store in a New Mexico community man shot her, killed her, left her for dead. There were great witnesses there, but the police department in that community, because it was 1975, didn't communicate with other communities, right. didn't communicate with other states. The suspect got away. She was left for dead, and they didn't know who this girl was. They did all they could to send out flyers, and they ended up burying her in an unmarked grave. Just a horrific sight. We went out to see the grave where she was uh, buried, and it, it was just sad that she was buried without a name. And we knew somebody was looking for her. I mean, she was a young girl, turned out to be 16 years old. Oh, wow. And nobody had, uh, nobody had claimed her. Highly unusual to have a Jane Doe case where somebody is alive in a convenience store. Usually somebody knows who this person is. And not in this case. She was literally left for dead. No identification on her. Nobody knew who, was she, who she was for 34 years. So the clear case went cold. Nobody looked into it until recently. They opened the case uh, occasionally, the detective. Who were, mm -hmm. um, just recently, there was a detective or an investigator, rather, that looked into this case and decided, you know what, I think there's more to mm -hmm. this. I remember this big case back in 1975. So we looked into it and found there was a little hit of DNA that turned out to be a questionable match between that, the Jane Doe network, which helps match people up for missing and unidentified people, and they exhumed the body, got a better DNA match, and were able to find out who this girl was wow. after 34 years. Just oh. in June, they identified her. All these years later, and then, of course, the, uh, the killer gets away free. Not quite. No, really? Not quite. I don't want to give too much away. That'll be tonight at 10. But they ended up finding out who this killer was. They were able to identify her. We uh, and, and his history is unbelievable. You couldn't have written a script that was more wild than this ending. It's almost like two different stories. The Jane, the Jane Doe story and the murder story could be maybe compelling in their own right. You got it. And we actually went up to um, Idaho to interview the victim's sister uh, who was up there who just got the notification in June that they identified her wow. sister. Fast Fascinating story, and you can see it tonight at 10 o'clock on KRQE News 13 at 10. Kim, looking forward to it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Boy, it sounds like an incredible story. And don't go away. After the break, caught on tape, a woman falls onto the train tracks right in the path of an incoming subway train. We'll show you more of this amazing video and the outcome when we come back. The time now is 6.20. It's your Tuesday. Good morning, New Mexico.